Hi, my name is Beth Ann Ozzie, and I'm the Human Resources Director with uh, Big Stone Cree Nation. And I have I had a lot of questions tonight about your uh, presentation. First of all, it was excellent. I'm impressed. I'm uh, optimistic, and actually, it's probably one of the best ones I've heard in a long time. And it's encouraging because OSUM seems to be um, so so culturally and and. I think sensitively aware of the the First Nations culture, the traditions, the land use that I I don't remember ever hearing as um, uh, and, and I think I guess in, in such a sensitive way before I um, have been involved with Aboriginal hiring, recruitment, training, employment for probably 40 years of my life, but because this is my home and I um, have children here and I have grand grandkids that are from the nation that are Big Stone Cree Nation members, it's really important to me to, uh, to make sure that whatever development happens in our area, whatever damage or, or intervention or uh, change is going to happen in our land and our backyards. It, it's done with um, with some 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 awareness of, of the connection we have in our, in our home communities, in our town. I, I grew up picking berries, riding horses, driving dogs, living off the land. My dad was a trapper. My mother was a uh, white but from outside the community and we had huge gardens and and uh, we fished and we trapped and we ate wild meat all our lives. We had huge gardens because mom mom was German English and she planted a lot of stuff. So that combination of cultures, of the First Nation background, my dad's traditional upbringing with ceremonies, I grew up with that, with drumming every morning. And I didn't even know what it meant not to have fresh water uh, to drink. We got it from the lake. We lived like that. Until I left home and uh, went out to work, go to school, went to school. Went to work. And I came back 44 years ago. And my community is still basically the same. But the sad part is that we can't drink the water out of the lake anymore. We can't go to that muskeg and scoop up water when it's picking berries and drink it and, you know, go swimming in it. I'm not even sure if I want to go swimming out there anymore. So that's the sad part about the, about the changes in the development. But what is encouraging about Olson's project, and I heard that tonight, is that whole recycling process that I understand you're going to use with the water. That to us is hugely, hugely important. Um, I have concern, I have I have question about employment, about business opportunities, about procurement, and to what extent OSUM is going to follow through from the beginning to the end, to the whole process, throughout the process, um, the opportunity for local uh, employment, for local uh, training, um, some type of monitoring of um, subcontractors and the way they also do the hiring. So, the elders that still live very traditionally and have such a huge Im impact on, on their families still about how to live in the bush and how to survive in the bush and how to be connected to the land and how important that is in, in our lives. It's just so much a part of who we are that it's hard to take it, to separate that, to even know what that means. Uh, not to be part of uh, the earth when you go, when you go out, uh, to feel that connection in, in, the, in the trees and in the bush. When that's gone, there is nothing. There's not a whole lot left. Uh, a museum doesn't do it for me. I tried it for 40 years in the city. Uh, it helped, but it wasn't enough. Walking along the, the river, you know, and it smelled like garbage and sewer. That was not enough. I had to come home to really feel like I was back in and around the rhythm, the rhythm of the earth. 
and uh, I don't know how to explain how it is, how I, how I missed that when I was gone. So knowing that there's a company that has some kind of appreciation for how we are connected spiritually, emotionally, and physically, that, that is encouraging.